Hi, this is Shu with the review of the Yanis Antetokounmpo's sixth signature, uh, the Freak Six. Uh, they didn't put the word zoom at the front, so you fear that maybe they don't even have a zoom here, but they do have a tiny zoom here on the forefoot, like 1,001 other low price, low end, affordable takedown models of Nike basketball shoes out there. But compared to those, uh, like perhaps the Jaw Ones or other shoes with minimal zoom here on the forefoot and just normal foam on the heel, this heel is just raw, hard, and thin. Uh, why am I paying you more money for it? The price has been jacked up a whole lot more compared to the previous models. It is the most expensive Yanis Antanta Kumpo signature to date and the worst uh, ever. I say Yanis Freak 2 is probably the worst among the Freak collection. Mm, that had no innovation. Zoom 4 for that you can barely feel and heel that's rock hard. Yeah, pretty much this is it. They say they use some Krishlan 2.0 or whatever, but you don't feel it. It's just, it's just rock hard foam, loath to ground. I, 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 hard, I can't find any positive things to say about this shoe. The design is a lazy carryover from the Zoom 5, uh, Zoom Freak 5s. Uh, for a size 9.5, it weighs about 365 grams, but it feels much heavier than what the digits show. In terms of fit, I would say if you have a very narrow foot, you can, and you like a tight fit, you can go two to size, but uh, it is kind of narrow, so I would suggest going half a size up. But the thing is, if you go half a size up, there's this huge dead space on the toe box area. If you lace it up hard, there's even more dead space on the toe box area. So, good job. Uh, it's just s <laughs> freakily stupid in terms of the engineering. Yeah, I know the lockdown is horrible. And these little parts, they're not low cut. They're kind of in between a mid and low cut. And these parts annoy you. Uh, depending on how your foot or ankle is shaped, you will feel some kind of a circulation, stomping, chomping, cutting uh, sensation around it. And the, this really pinches into your Achilles heel. It's high up for no reason. And the heel cup is, wow, very spacious. Enjoy all the heel slip you want to afford and you want to pay good money for. Again, this is much, much higher price. It's the same price as the, the KD lines, which actually they put more tech in it. Uh, so, yeah, what else can I say about it? Oh, there, there is no outrigger. They have some kind of a stupid plastic here, but it doesn't really serve any purpose. And the foam here on the lateral side is especially soft, so it makes it incredibly fun to continually sprain your ankle then uh yeah <laughs> roll your ankle in the shoe uh if you like the sensation go get the stupid pair of shoes insole is a very lazy cheap ass knockout or like kind of foam nothing substantial what else can i see ah oh, the outsole pattern is the only saving grace it's the same pretty much exactly the same as a zoom freak fives so decent outsole traction but that's about it uh, it's an expensive heavier shoe with um, less zoom on the forefoot foam that's rock hard and and it's priced higher than the previous zoom freak models if you love the zoom freak twos just because Giannis Attenta Pacumbo won a finals MVP and won the finals in that shoe Go ahead, but that is a horrible, horrible shoe. And I would say this is just as bad, if not worse. Uh, and it's much more expensive than the Zoom Freak 2s. So I don't know what the hell Nike's thinking, but uh, yeah, this belongs in the trash 